my dears? Do you know what that is this weekend? Well, not only do the clocks go back so that get dark ever so soon, but that's Halloween. <laughs> I should imagine you'll be entertaining the little ones, carving out some pumpkins and that. My friend Phyllis couldn't find a pumpkin because it sold out, but she found a sugar beet by the side of the A14 and carved a face out of it. And that look a fright. We were going to do some apple bobbing too, but our tree hadn't had many good apples this year, so we'll probably bob some taters or something. But make sure you have some sherbets or pear drops for them little ones what come round for a trick or treat. There were some hoodlums a few years ago, and the last time they trick or treat at Dillis' house next door, they were hulling eggs at a house. But don't feel too sorry for her. She soon got wise to it and went out there and caught the eggs in a fishing net as they chucked them. So then she was bragging that she had acquired a dozen free eggs. <laughs> Silly old. Now, speaking of Dillis, she and Phyllis are working on some Halloween costumes for the party tomorrow night. Oh, it must be them in the other room tinkering away. <laughs> I don't know what they've come up with. Whatever you make them, Phyllis. <laughs> Well, even I didn't catch that one. <laughs> There's lots of spooky stories round East Angla. You may well have watched my video all about the hauntings of Borley Rectory on the YouTubes. And if you hain't, then go over and look at it on there and follow Suffolk Fox. Yeah? Well, have you heard of the Grey Lady? Mm -hmm. Well, no, you have, Phyllis. Well, she's a ghost what has frequently been seen around Bury St Edmunds. She appear all over the town, in the Abbey Gardens, the Priory Hotel, Theatre Royal, even in the shops along Abbeygate Street. <laughs> Keep it down, you two. Hell, some people believe she's a nun, what was having a bit of how's your father with a mug. Oh, that's what all them old ghost stories seem to say. Others say she was linked to the death of the Duke of Gloucester and not the Duke of Suffolk, like that old Shakespeare saying that Henry V1 part two. That's right, Phyllis. What was that? <laughs> I dread to think what them two are brewing up in there. And that's another thing about Suffolk, talking about brewing. During the 1600s, there were no end of witch trials going on. All them poor old Dillises being tried for being witches. There's even artefacts from them days at Moises Hall Museum in Barry. There's wands, shoes, a witch's puppet. Well, and mummified cats. There's a mummified cat what hang in the nutshell pub too, the smallest pub in England. Well, Phyllis had a good old poke of that when we were in there. And they say if you touch it, you become cursed. <coughs> there, whatever it's... Oh no, now there's the door. I'll get it, Phyllis. Hello, Phyllis. Phyllis? <laughs> well, I can see you've just been to Tesco to get all the Halloween sweets. But whoever have I been talking to through the wall? <laughs> have you got a biscuit? Dillas! <laughs> yes, Dillas, we have got biscuits. <gasps> well, there's no one in here. I heard tinkering earlier and I... Oh, wait a minute. That's Dillis out there at the end of the garden. She's just standing there in her dirty old nightgown, staring at us. Phyllis, get the door. Hello, Mavis. Hello, Phyllis. Whatever are you looking at? We're looking at you standing out in the garden, Dillis. Hang on a minute. That's the grey lady. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, you told you not to poke at that crusty old cat, Phyllis. Have you got any biscuits?